been with triplets, I've been with twins I've been with so long, where do I begin? And to me you are the star of the show still What is up, boxing fam? Welcome back to the wildest corner of YouTube, where we break down all the madness surrounding our favorite fighters and celebs. If you thought boxing was all about the fists flying and title belts, think again. Cause today's story has got scandal, drama, and some of the wildest rumors ever. Yeah, I'm talking about Diddy's freak off parties and how Floyd Mayweather just dragged Gervonta Davis into this messy saga. Right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's out. I mean, I mean, if you haven't been keeping up, Diddy's infamous freak-off parties have been all over the headlines lately. And just when you think things couldn't get crazier, boom, Mayweather drops a bombshell. So, if you're ready for the tea, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of this juicy drama. Let's dive right in. All right, before we jump into the Floyd and Gervonta drama, let me catch y'all up to speed on what these freak-off parties even are. So, for those out of the loop, Diddy's been making headlines for some wild parties. We're talking drug-fueled orgies, explicit recordings, and scandal on scandal. These weren't just your regular celebrity gatherings. Think of it as a whole other level of craziness. TMZ recently reported that a male s worker handed over a bombshell freak-off tape to federal prosecutors. Yup, you heard that right, fam. There's a whole tape of Diddy's alleged activities from May 2023. And it's not just Diddy being exposed here either. There are rumors that there's a more high-profile individual also featured in that tape. Let me show you this clip of LeBron James speaking about how much he loves a Diddy party. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so... Yeah, that's his son. Yeah! Now, you know how it goes. Once something like this gets out, people start making connections. And guess what? It's turned into an absolute circus. And this is where our boxing legends come in. Y'all know Floyd Mayweather has a knack for staying in the spotlight, whether it's in the ring or out here dropping the hottest gossip. Recently, during an interview, Floyd went off on Gervonta Tank Davis, and he didn't hold back. Oh. My thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful. Constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Floyd, never one to shy away from drama, claimed that Gervonta Davis may have been involved in one of Diddy's freak-off parties. Yup, Gervonta's name just got thrown into the mess. And you know that got people talking. Floyd was alluding to the idea that maybe Tank wasn't just focused on his boxing training when he was supposed to be, if you know what I mean. Now, let's break this down for a second. We know Floyd and Gervonta have had a rocky relationship, to say the least. Mayweather was like a mentor to Davis for years. He was grooming him to be the next big thing. But somewhere along the line, that relationship went south and now it seems like they've both been throwing shade at each other left and right. And now, Floyd dropping this freak-off party bombshell? You could say things just took one hell of a turn. Even like P. Diddy. I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy. Mistakes happen, and I can't say if it is, was not a mistake, but things happen in life. Even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt, but that's the choice that my daughter made. Now let's rewind a bit 
and talk about why Floyd would even do this. Why would Mayweather name drop Gervonta in such a wild story? Well, it's no secret that these two have had their beef for a hot minute. When Gervonta first joined TMT, the money team, Floyd was hyping him up as the next Floyd Mayweather. He had that insane power, the speed, and let's be real, Floyd knew how to market him. But as Tank started gaining popularity, it seemed like their mentor-mentee relationship started to get complicated. Gervonta wanted to pave his own way, and Floyd, who's always been in control of his brand and his fighters, wasn't too happy about Tank wanting independence. You know he the one. You know he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock. I mean seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that he was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drive by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's alright. I don't really think too much of it. Ain't, he not gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because. He can do some crazy stuff. He'll pitch in a bad situation. The boxing community is divided. Some are backing Tank, saying Floyd's just being petty, while others think there's more to this story, and that maybe Tank DID get involved in some wild stuff. You have analysts, ex-boxers, and even influencers weighing in on the situation. Mike Tyson even jumped into the conversation saying something along the lines of, everyone's got their demons, man, but bringing someone else's dirt into the light like that? It's a low blow. And you gotta respect Mike for that. He knows what it's like to have everyone in your business, and he's not here for unnecessary drama. Meanwhile, boxing promoter Eddie Hearn took a different approach. He's out here saying that Floyd and Gervonta need to settle their beef in the ring. Like, imagine that. Mayweather versus Tank. Now, I doubt that's actually happening, but hey, a promoter's gotta promote, right? Let's not forget about the man in the center of all this, Diddy himself. So far, Diddy hasn't come out to confirm or deny any of these allegations directly. But sources close to him have said he's furious about Floyd dragging other names into the mess. It seems like Diddy's got enough on his plate with these tapes reportedly being in the hands of federal prosecutors and some leaks allegedly hitting the dark web. There are even rumors that some of the other celebs who've attended Diddy's freak-off parties are panicking right now, worrying that their names could come out too. I mean, Floyd mentioning Gervonta might just be the start. If more names drop, we're talking about some major careers potentially going up in flames. Famous actor Kevin Hart has already come clean regarding his involvement in the Diddy parties, and he has already released a public apology video. I should make smart decisions. And recently, I did it. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or, or claim to be in any way, shape, or form. Don't get closer to bed. Thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. It's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it, you did it. I made a bad error in judgment and put myself in an environment we're only bad. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.